I do not have a relevant intro speech for you today. Come to think of it, I don't even have anything relevant to put on the TV screen, so here's a picture of me relaxing in my gorgeous stately manner. Oh yes, that's right. That chair is made from, uh, from an animal, I think. Maybe. Anyway, let's move on. Much like K-pop stands, coronavirus seems to be popping up everywhere it isn't wanted. Only with the coronavirus, we can't just ignore it. Now look, I'm not here to debate the seriousness of the virus. I'm not here to speak about the media either misinforming or overblowing the coverage of the virus. And I'm definitely not here to catch the damn virus either. What I am here to do is look at a simple fact. The coronavirus is a problem that is causing considerable harm to people, events, and progression in general. In fact, SSXW, also known as South by Southwest, is a massively popular music, tech, and film meetup that raked in a massive $350 million plus in 2019. The 2020 event was announced to have been cancelled just a few days ago from fear of spreading the virus. Now again, I'm not here to debate how harmful the virus could be to the majority, but the idea of having a large group of people together in one location for an extended period of time, with one or multiple people potentially infected by the virus is obviously a bad idea for clear reasons. In my opinion, the cancellation of events is not from an irrational fear drummed up by misinformation, but the rational reaction of some event planners not wanting to accidentally spread things any further. There's a lot of people that would travel from all over the place, all over the world even, to come to an event like South by Southwest. But putting South by Southwest aside, let's talk about a gaming event such as E3. It would not surprise me at all if the E3 that we know traditionally is cancelled this year. Don't get me wrong, I still expect that we will see all our big game reveals, no problem there, but I'm expecting that these would have to be done over streams if the event itself was cancelled. In other words, business as usual for those who do not physically attend. This makes no difference to me as I have never been to E3 or uh, anything like that so I'd be watching the event over the internet anyway. But for media outlets, gamers, journalists, all those kind of people that travel to E3 every year, news of this would understandably suck. Now onto something a bit more upsetting. On March 5th, in response to the coronavirus concern, Bungie Studios announced that they had built a remote work infrastructure. Basically, everyone at the office is now working from home until the threat of the virus dies down a bit. This is a good way to continue development, really, uh, the progression of the game as well, because it, it's, it's not like Destiny 2 is a regular game, it's a live service game, so you can't just switch that service off for an undetermined amount of time, especially when there's new content on the horizon, which there is. I don't know how well this setup is for their development, but I would imagine that at the very least it isn't as convenient as working in the main office. With the Bungie office temporarily shutting their doors, it should be understandable that a few other places within that area would also be doing the same thing. I would hope that this doesn't cause a shutdown of many other places, but given the nature of the virus and how it seems to be spreading quite rapidly, it wouldn't surprise me if places like 343 are also forced to adopt a system like this. Now let me be clear, I am NOT saying that they will. I am NOT saying that Halo Infinite is getting a delay. I don't work there, nor have I ever been lucky enough to visit 343, so I would not know. Don't freak out, okay? Just don't freak out. My sincere goal for this video is to remind people that this stuff is happening and then politely ask that we remain calm and respectful in the event of a delay or a temporary shutdown of anything that we are anticipating. Whether that's Halo Infinite, the 343 offices, production on a TV show that you love, a movie premiere that you've been dying to go to, a sports event, whatever. But in our case, Infinite and 343. I doubt I'm talking to the massive majority when I say this, but it feels necessary to do so. If something happens and the game is delayed due to the coronavirus problem, please don't be that guy. You know the guy I'm talking about, right? There's being critical and disappointed that something isn't going the way that you wanted it to, and then there's just being a prick. I am dying to see what Infinite holds for Halo but I don't want to see it at the cost of good health for both employees and families of employees at 343, or any other studio for that matter. That's all I wanted to say, folks. I realize that we live in a day and age where we expect things quickly, but in the context of Halo Infinite, we've been waiting since 2015. We can wait a bit longer in the event of a delay. Now, since this was an unplanned video, I can't follow through on my promise for a Dave Reed section here, but I do have something else instead. 
just be aware that if you do want me to read a comment for the next video, I promise that I'll do it this time, I swear to God. Leave a comment with the hashtag Dave Reed and I'll see what happens. But before I go, I am giving away a copy of the Master Chief Collection for Steam and the giveaway ends on March 12th. I'm doing that on Twitter, so if you click the link in the description, it'll tell you how to enter and why I have to do it a very specific way. It's not just for Reach and CEA on PC, by the way, it's, it's for the whole thing. So, you know, as the games release on PC, you will just you will just get them to download. So it's the whole game, all of it. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and see if you want to get in on that. And uh, if so, good luck, wish you the best of luck. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys soon. Please join my Discord server, please. It's Discord, discord.gg forward slash spearhead. There's a link maybe in the screen right now. I can't, I don't know. I'm sitting back in my chair. I feel really sad, but please join my Discord server. I promise I'll be normal, mommy.